dear esteemed parents how are you how is life how is everything how is parenting uh this this video is purposely for you i love you so much parents and i'm grateful to god for you uh parents i have prepared this video purposely to encourage us in so many things i am also a parent and i know what it feels to be a parent and i thank god for the gift of parenting and parenthood uh parents as children uh, the gifts god has given to us whether they are by choice or by chance they are our children and we cannot change that so there are some things i want you to know as a parent uh, one is that your children are your responsibility as i've told you whether they are by choice or by chance they are your children so it's your responsibility to provide for them hmm? education shelter everything that they need now it's time for taking them back to school you really should provide them with education because as it's already said that it's the key to success and education is cheaper than ignorance and i want to tell you that you are the one who will enjoy the fruits of that child you have educated you have taken care of you have nurtured uh you're the one who is going to enjoy their fruits tomorrow you're the one who will be grateful feel the respect people will give you enjoy the glory that will shine from your children dear parents don't forget that god gave those children to you because he knew that you can manage them so well god can never give you something you cannot handle then the other thing parents nurture the talents of your children how are you going to do this promote their confidence through thanking them appreciating them for the things that they do well and when they have not done the right thing correct them in a responsible way don't insult them in front of their friends colleagues or whatsoever those are your children and those gifts that god has given to them are the ones that will make them who you want them to be because if you don't help them in nurturing their talents this will kill them they will be useless to the society because it's through that purpose that talent that gift that they have to add value to the world so never forget that your children are your reflection as they already say that charity begins at home there are four nurture your children's talents promote their confidence don't insult them and don't demotivate their talents another thing i want to encourage you as a parent is to motivate and to counsel your children now that they are going back to school please before they go back make sure that um you usually speak to your children if they are day scholars before they go to school or every time you're at home usually tell them that they are smart or tell them how brilliant they are remind them how proud you are of them and how you see great and wonderful things from those children and if they are boarding schoolers scholars caution them about life hmm? remind them of their family background because some of them when they reach school they forget where they've come from they forget the hassles through which you're getting tuition school fees they forget those things because they are seeing other children who are coming from different backgrounds from them so always remind them how you're struggling in getting school fees if you really are and encourage them to work hard to keep focus to their goal as to why they are at school to work hard and to strive for being the best encourage them to be disciplined and to respect their teachers and their fellow students because when you have discipline you can reach as far as you can with discipline you can even sit and dine with the kids so encourage your children to be well mannered at school to consult their teachers and you see when you continue speaking to your child they will listen to you you're their first teacher you're their god on earth so there is no way they can neglect your word and anyway even if they do not listen to you now or they are pretending not to listen i want to tell you one day they will 
respect your word. They will remember what you told them and will to be their what? Their food to eat on when things are not going well or when they really feel they've now come back to their senses. Then the other thing, dear parents, stop or rather never compare your child with other children, maybe for your neighbors or of your friends or workmates. You know why? When you, whenever you do that or if you compare your children with other people's, you're hurting their feelings and you're lowering their esteem. You're confusing them into believing and into asking themselves questions, who am I? And they start wondering who they are to themselves and even to you. So this in the end leads to them starting to pretend being not who they are. They start masking in being other people and in the end it builds fear in those children. And this, I won't lie to you, it will block them into giving life to their dreams. It will block that blissful wisdom and creativity from blossoming, you see? Those children are really brilliant. Tell them that you are their parent, you are their God on earth. And it's only you who can shape your child into what you want. If you don't speak to your children today, the world is going to tell them so many things. It's going to teach them a lot that it will be solid for you. That's why they already say that nurture or, yeah, let me use the word nurture. Nurture that tree or a plant at a young stage when it can still be nurtured such that when it's fully grown, you now have it in the shape you wanted it to have. Thank you so much for listening to me. I remain Nambus Merigorati, a motivational speaker and counselor for the young youth. I love the young youth and the parents too. Love you. Wishing you all the best and God's blessings. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the name I have just told you.